Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we're going to look at HTC's Blink feed here. That's uh, in that's with Sense 5, and we're going to look at it on the uh, HTC One, and uh, it eventually will come to other HTC phones as part of uh, Sense 5. Um, when you first uh, turn on the phone, and when you or when you first uh, uh, get Blink feed uh, installed, if you're getting it in an update. Um, it'll be blank and you'll just tap on it and it'll bring you to the settings screen uh... right now i've got it set up but just to show you where how you'd get to the settings screen is if you just scroll down here uh... you'll see some settings this is something that's put into sense five all over the place is a new way of getting to uh... Um, settings so you just flick it down and hit here and you can go into um, topics and services and then you can select uh, items that you want. Um, you can also flick over here, and you got you have categories that you can uh, tap. Uh, like you can go into uh, technology, and then there's further items. Um, and then, okay, sc scrolling down, I have a few things chosen here, like uh, ESPN, CNET, and in gadget. So, and then the other thing is also you can have uh, your Twitter, which that's going to make things really busy. I didn't install that. I did put Facebook on there. And you can also include um, Calendar and, um, and Zoe Share. Then over here you can actually search within your whole entire Blink feed. Uh, so say, uh, for example, uh, type in HTC and there's one story uh, right now on um, involving HTC in the Blink feed in the current Blink feed. It doesn't go on continuously, it does actually end. Over here is where you can post uh, something uh, to Facebook. This isn't Sherry just posting something quickly to Facebook. I would imagine if I had Twitter on there it would give me an option for Twitter as well. Over here um, you have your highlights section where highlights is all the stuff that you've chosen to be part of your Blink feed. You can customize it further which seems a little strange since you're selecting items to be in your Blink feed to begin with. To me it seems like a little redundant but in any event um, you, because what I'm saying is you can go in and just select one thing like for example I can go in here and just choose ESPN and look at just ESPN stuff and then go back up to the top oh there you go I'm showing you updating updating just like anything else drag down and release and it will update so um, so you can select any of the areas that you want most of the people will keep it on highlights and you'll get everything so I'm getting Facebook and news stories and you can simply open up any of these things uh, to you know get the story like for example uh, right here is ESPN and you get the story and you can read it and also you can get all of ESPN's quickly by doing this as well you can tap the ESPN icon and then get all their latest stories and then of course you can go back and uh, with oh within a story you can share it uh, as well to Facebook or whatever um, whatever you want to do there and in here oh, that's just changing the fonts nothing major now, if you're also down very low and you want to get back up to the top quickly, you can just tap the notifica notification area and it brings you right up to the top. So it's a pretty straightforward. Um, there's not a lot to it. I mean, it's a lot like a flipboard type of thing. It's, um, I don't know, Some I guess it's really meant for the average user. I think they'll find it interesting. Um, you, you know... You can also go in here um, into settings and go into the uh, settings for like personalized, um, you know, with wallpapers and stuff from there as well. And then the other thing um, is just to show you in the home screen setup, uh, <clears throat> you can have up to five home screens, but you cannot get rid of Blink Feed, and Blink Feed will always be to all the way to the left. You don't have to make it uh, the one set up for home when you press the home button. You can literally uh, change it to uh, anything else. I can change it to this one right here by, you know, basically overlapping. But you cannot move uh, Blink Feed to anywhere else. So if you wanted to, for example, have Blink Feed as the home, but have it in the middle of five home uh, five uh, home screens, you can't do it. Um, that's a little bizarre, and that might be something that they'll 
change and an update um, but that is what it is so um, so pretty much that's it that's blink feed uh, like I said there's your home screen so you can still go to your other home screens um, but uh, you can have this one all the way to the left and so basically if you're not into blink feed at all then you're really getting four home screens because you can't get rid of it so um, so that's pretty much it very simple very straightforward very easy to set up and uh, you know you get your news regularly oh the other thing is whoops uh, you want to also select in the settings it wasn't set by default um, for your refresh it was auto refresh using Wi-Fi only so it, you might want to change it to mobile and Wi-Fi if data is not an issue for you um, the default was using Wi-Fi so if you're not in a Wi-Fi and you're wondering why it's not updating that would be your reason so you want to check that as well so that's it uh, that's the uh, HTC Blink Feed on Sense 5 right now showing you on the HTC One uh, we'll have some more videos coming up we're going to be looking at the camera and we'll look at some overall functionality of the Sense 5 as well so take a, take a look at those videos uh, when they come out Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.